Let me know what you think in the comments because if you're a truth teller in your family or in your life, you probably understand what I'm going to talk about here today or and you'll have more to add. A truth teller is someone that really sees the big picture. Basically, the truth of what's going on in a big picture way. Now, what happens is, of course, we project our own interpretations of the of the emotions around it or like how we interpret it but we do see the big picture we're the type that like we can watch a commercial or a political thing or a social thing that's going on in the world and we can see the multiple sides and the the many different facets that are going on and find and pull the threads of truth out of it that like we can see oh that's indoctrination that's nothing but other people's opinions and it's really hard to shut our mouths when we're confronted with injustices with um, things that aren't congruent things that don't make sense with lies with manipulations the thing is we can see all of this but that doesn't mean we are immune to manipulation or immune to toxic people getting into our lives and twisting our truths and our realities but the hard thing about being a truth teller is number one it's hard to hold back it's hard to gray rock it's hard to say nothing when in the face of something that you see is a bold a bold face lie or a manipulation right it's also really really hard to keep our mouth shut when we see an injustice happening to someone else or we see it happening in society or we see it happening um just all around us right now, imagine that, and you've got a narcissistic parent or a narcissist in your life trying to be the manipulator, trying to make sure that it goes the way they dictate it goes and the way their delusion states the world should be. And we see right through it, and we see the truth. We're the ones that get pinched under the, under the table, you know what I mean, or kicked under the table. We're the ones that get told we're rude. We are insubordinate. We're disrespectful. We, are, uh, we need to keep our mouths shut we are liars we're not um because when it goes against the narcissist quote truth right not real truth but their delusional truth or the truth that they are projecting out there that everyone's supposed to believe that's actually a lie of course it's a lie compared to that because we're seeing the big picture which is the truth and they won't allow for that to be seen because they need everyone to believe the delusion. So this is in direct conflict with a narcissist's world. We are the scapegoat extraordinaire, right? We are the biggest black sheep of the family because we will not sit back and say nothing. Or if we sit back and say nothing, we got a look on our face or we sit back and say nothing and they know darn well we see the truth. We're the ones that the narcissist can't, can't, pull the wool all the way over you know like they we they can't hide the truth from us even though we may get trauma bonded and we may have cognitive dissonance and we may slip into believing the manipulation because we're so tired or we're so wanting to see what the narcissist is presenting us right well as a child being uh told i was telling untruths when they were total truths they were just not the truths that that narcissistic people presented <laughs> right um being told i'm rude being told um i have a bad attitude <laughs> when i see and you know it's funny because sometimes of course i do but mostly it was just it's not a bad attitude it's the reality of what's happening what the heck right so growing up you know when i learned early on in the workplace I had a workplace where there was an incredible narcissistic situation going on and I was being scapegoated. And um, when I presented it to the boss, I was told, that's fine. I can see that they're doing these things and they're manipulating the situation. But you know, your attitude toward it needs to change. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> but I learned early on, no one cares. No one wants to hear it. No one wants the truth. It's so difficult for people who are truth tellers. Now you take that into a deeply narcissistic situation and they're not going to give you that warning of, you know, change your attitude or else kind of thing. They're just going to attack. They're going to come after you because they need to silence you. They need to keep you in a state of confusion and they need to smear you to everyone else so that no one believes you. So that you are a... A, a lie teller instead of a truth teller right? here's the thing guys it's needed we are needed to help 
others to help ourselves to be there. Okay, when people need the truth, don't they come to you? Mm hmm, they sure do. Let's talk about gray rocking when you are a truth teller. Really hard, right? Because you, <laughs> you've already seen that this is nonsense that's coming your way. You can see and label the behavior that's being thrown at you. You can totally feel, see, sense, and know you're being, there's gaslighting, there's projecting, whatever. And gray rock? What? I'm supposed to say nothing? I'm supposed to close my mouth and just like sit here saying nothing, hope that I'll feel okay afterward. Oh, so hard, isn't it? But here's the thing. If you, if you can recognize what is happening and you can label it in your head, okay, they're, gray, they're gaslighting again, whatever. And you can detach from needing, okay, there's first there's your own ego. Don't need to be right. Don't need to be right. Let the narcissist be right because frankly, the narcissist will always be right in their own world all the time. Anyway, there's no point in winning that battle because there is no battle to win if you step out of the game. All right. So get your your own ego in check, so to speak. Get your emotions in check and realize, again, you're never going to win because there is no winning. The narcissist will always twist things back to be the one, right, to be right, so to speak. And it's pointless. It's pointless. So as a truth teller, we need to apply it to ourselves when we're, when we're gray rocking to see that we need our truth to be intact as well. And if we play into the gaslighting and the projecting and the manipulation, we aren't living our truth. If we step back, gray rock it, step away, calm down, process it, get mad somewhere else, right? And let it go and move on with our day for ourselves then we're actually living more true to ourselves, And then we can say that we're seeing the truth of us instead of living the lie. I think that's what's so hard about being gaslit when you are a truth teller is that you can see the lie so clearly and you're living a lie so obviously and then you feel shame and guilt and all that other stuff that is unnecessary for your life.